you dare yourself to do in 2010? I dare myself to get some sleep because I have a 21 week old baby. So, um, and, and in, in association with that, I dare myself to show up better for my family so I'm more engaged and the time that I spend with them really make it count. What do you dare others to do in 2010? Um, I dare them to think about how they show up at work. One of the biggest problems is we show up thinking it's not me, it's you. We show up thinking that everyone else at work, their poor behaviour is the reason why culture's not good or the why teams don't get on. But actually we all contribute to it. So I dare people to think about how they can show up more engaged and um, in a better space to create a good culture. In the next 12 months, what do you think the biggest influence will be in the workforce? I think the biggest influence in the next 12 months is the ability to engage staff. One thing we've seen coming out of the GFC is people stayed put. Not many people left their jobs because they were afraid of not being able to get another one. But now with the economy coming back and recovering, what we're seeing is that 46% of employees are intending to move somewhere else. So if you don't engage your staff and um, and give them a reason to stay, they're going to go and you're going to be left with a very big hole and a very big recruiting bill.